Hi guys, welcome back and thanks for joining me. Got something a little bit different today. We've got some emergency survival rations and some emergency water from a company called Seven Oceans. Now, Seven Oceans provide long life items for use on life raft boats, rescue boats. Anyone that's got a boat themselves can buy them, just keep them stored away. And they are fantastic little things. Now, the water itself, we've got 500ml long life emergency drinking water rations. And it says you'll have a five year unconditional shelf life from the date of production, and you'll have 10 inner sachets of 50ml each in a tough PE ALU outer casing. And they are attached in twos. So you've got five little sections, 250ml, totaling 100ml. Uh, in a survival situation, an average healthy adult requires a minimum of 500ml per 24 hours. So that's going to go up dependent on the weather conditions. So if you're out and you're on a boat or you're stuck in the middle of a desert or somewhere extremely hot, you're going to be sweating, you're going to be losing water, you're going to be losing electrolytes, you're going to need more. But any normal situation, 500ml is your minimum. So that bag, one person, one day, fantastic. Now we, we move over to the right and we've got our standard emergency rations there. Uh, that's a 500 gram box, uh, food ration, high energy biscuits. Now that box itself for one person is a 72 hour supply and it contains 2500 calories so you're not doing anything or you could break that down to three days or even if you are hiking and trekking and trying to get back to civilization or you're trying to get away from somebody or you're just stuck in the middle of the sea you can make that one box last three days as hard as it'll be if you need to you will now seven oceans emergency food rations are primarily designed to provide a balanced diet for survival at sea for use on board life rafts and lifeboats, as I said, however, you can chuck them in your car, you can have them in your office drawers, you can have them in your go bag, you can literally put them anywhere. Just because they're designed to go on a boat doesn't mean they have to stay on a boat. If you want to take the opportunity to have a high amount of calories compressed into a small amount of space, then these are perfect for you. They might not taste the best, and yeah, you're probably going to get bored of them, but I mean, look at that. If we had three bags of water there and one bag of bars to last us three days, how much room is that going to take up compared to whacking in some MREs? It's not going to take up much room at all, is it? And you don't need to do anything to prepare this either. You can eat the bar straight out of the box, drink the water straight out of the bag. Now, the bars are vacuum packed. As I said, there's a total of 2,500 calories of energy in that box. And they are they have the highest possible ratio of balanced nutrition compared to volume. Now the pack is subdivided for easy rationing. Each bag of biscuits contains 18 tablets packaged in 9 bars and greaseproof paper. The 9 bars are packed under vacuum in air and watertight aluminium foil. And the unit is protected by a water repellent cardboard box. So if you've got them in a bag and it's throwing it down the rain, your bars are not going to turn to mush. You got them on a boat and the waves are high, they're coming over the side, sloshing about. Your bars are not going to turn to mush. Well, at least that's the idea anyway. The shelf life of the packs is roughly five years. Uh, again, unconditionally, it states from the date of production marked. Now, another thing to do with the bars, they contain no meat or animal fat. They are halal and vegetarian. They are approved for use by NATO forces. So they are a fantastic little diverse option. And near enough everyone can use them. So let's get them opened up and we'll see what we've got. So let's start with the water. Try and open this up without doing too any damage to the items inside. Just you can imagine, you stuck out in a survival situation, you manage to rip open the water, you waste it, you are not going to be happy. Uh, it's a quite thick foil lined bag. You could also diversify this bag, open it all out and use it as a signal mirror. They are packaged in there really, really tightly. And that's why I'm struggling. Look at that. I'm trying to pull one out the middle and all join together. So, let's carefully detach them. Let's pop those down there. As you can see, inside is four lines. You can use it as a signal mirror. And here's our water. 
emergency drinking water 50 ml each pouch we've got 10 notches as well so let's open one up give it a taste oh, I'll just rip off the top of the tear pouch that was really easy smells like water looks like water so there's our water 50 ml not a lot try it got a strange strange taste to it actually I presume that's where it's been sterilized tastes like water but there's just something else there it's not gonna hurt you but yeah it doesn't taste like what you get out of a tap or a bottle anyway let's see what we've got in our box so this is our water repellent box let's open it up straight out we've got our foil lined box Rock hard, and we can feel and see the separate bars inside moving around. Okay. So, this bag, if we open it carefully enough, If you open that bag up carefully, not only can we use it to keep the bars nice and dry, see? We've also got something that can carry more water, or food, or even use it as a bowl to turn some of our emergency rations into a little paste, a little porridge. It's, uh, it's, a lot of, it's getting quite bitty. Over there, get one of our bars. Let's have a look. Comes in the greaseproof paper, as it said. So it is probably best to keep them all in what the waterproof packs if you can. So you could put them back in there, fold the top over, turn it upside down, put it back in your box, and you've got it as watertight as you can whilst being open at the same time. So each one has got two bars. A very strange smell to it. it doesn't look too bad does it it's very very crumbly but it's like shortbread let's try some so it's got a very strange sweet dry crumbly texture to it I could, I could easily imagine you just munch 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 like you would a packet of biscuits and then they're gone and you're like oh crap that was my three days worth of food and I've just eaten it in three hours so you really have got to have some mental willpower here. You really do need to keep control of how you're going to actually pace yourself. But you've got three packs per day. So effectively you've got two for breakfast, two for dinner and two for tea. Or you can space them out and have the six at different intervals just to try and keep those hunger pangs at bay. It's a nice little set, to be fair. As I said, it's not going to take up too much room. I'd be happy to keep those lying around, but uh, once you've opened them, they're not all individually sealed. So once they're open, the air's got to them and that's that. So once you open that main pack there, you need to be eating them, otherwise they're going to be knackered. I'm going to go on the bottom of this box, manufactured of 62020. So they're only manufactured a short while ago, which makes sense because they're not going to ship you out something it's supposed to have five year shelf life from um, two days of manufacture, two years of manufacture, sorry. They've given you three years. So when you buy them, you expect them to have a decent amount of time. I mean, I bought them a week ago, so they're not that old at all. Anyway, guys, I've loved sharing this with you. It's been fantastic to see what's inside these boxes. I've always wanted to have a look and try these biscuits, and now I have. I said the water tastes a bit strange, but it's water at the end of the day. It's not going to harm you. Biscuits is a very, 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 very strange texture, feeling, taste, but they're not that bad. I'd eat them. Thousands of others would eat them, and I'll tell you now, if you're starving, you are not going to stick your nose up at them. So, right then, thanks for coming, thanks for watching. 
please like share and subscribe hit the bell button if you want be notified when i stick up a new video and i'll be back with you soon with more eats treats and mres stay safe uh -huh.